Hey guys. Hi. Great to be here with you guys. Yeah. Great to have you. I don't even know if I need the mic. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it anyway. Whatever. All right. Uh, Woo! Yeah. It's, uh, it's my first time performing stand up in LA. Oh, oh nice. Very, thank Welcome. you. Yeah. Uh, very exciting, also a little intimidating. I'm uh, from Florida, which is kind of like the homeless man's LA. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, there's a lot of smart, sophisticated people here, and I'm from the city that invented Hooters, so it's uh. <laughs> a little uncomfortable. Uh, you guys have renowned international fine dining. We have the ultimate spicy hot wings combo platter at Hooters. <laughs> Slightly intimidated. <laughs> you have the epicenter of culture and film in America. We have the highest density of strip clubs in America, oh. so it's a little bit of culture shock. I guess what I'm trying to say is, where are all the strip clubs here? I don't. <laughs> it's tough. I like LA though. LA is a fun town. It's the first city I've been to that looks like it was entirely designed by somebody on mushrooms. <laughs> Streets don't make any sense. <laughs> I was driving on Franklin today. Google told me to make a left on Sunset, a right on Cahuenga, and a left on Franklin. <laughs> and weren't we just here? <laughs> I think Google Maps is also on mushrooms. That's, that's what I've learned. It's fun though. I don't know uh, who designed the houses in LA. That guy was on something. <laughs> Whose idea was it to put the houses on the mountain in earthquake country. <laughs> Went trick or treating the other night for Halloween. The scariest part was wondering whether the house was gonna fall on me. <laughs> it's fun though, I had a lot of fun on Halloween. Are you guys Halloween fans? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, good, good. yeah, Halloween is the best holiday. It's my favorite holiday because there's no relatives, no gifts, <laughs> Just a bunch of whores running around. <laughs> it's like a strip club of candy. I feel right at home. <laughs> These are my kind of people. It's great. What are we even celebrating at this point, honestly? <laughs> Dead people? <laughs> Do they appreciate this? Do you think your great-grandfather's coming back from the grave? Like, thank you so much <laughs> for getting blackout drunk. Dressed as Pikachu. <laughs> I feel so honored. It's the best. I love Halloween. I'm still wearing my Halloween costume, actually. It's called Florida Man. <laughs> you might have heard of me. Florida Man arrested for cooking meth and baby diaper. Florida Man arrested for smoking meth and baby diaper. <laughs> Florida man arrested wearing baby diaper. <laughs> it was a long week. <laughs> yeah, Florida's crazy. LA is crazy. I can't figure out how to drive here. When I got here, I didn't realize the speed limit was a minimum. <laughs> People do 15 over in the shoulder. <laughs> it's amazing. Everyone speeds, but it's never the cars you think that are going the fastest. <laughs> The other day I saw a hearse <laughs> doing 170 miles an hour, not even on the highway. I was like, slow down, buddy, the guy's already dead. What do you think, they're gonna start the funeral without him? <laughs> so someone get pulled over for doing 75 in a parking lot? <laughs> Which seemed excessive for the drive through at CVS. <laughs> Apparently they were picking up speed. <laughs> Couple groans, I can live with that. <laughs> Got cut off by a guy driving a house. <laughs> Not an RV, just someone's regular four bedroom home. <laughs> Sign in the back said family on board. <laughs> I was like, Not for long. <laughs> Speaking of family, I'm uh, Irish and Italian, which means I'm good at drinking, eating, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> I, I quit drinking four years ago, though. 
Thank you. <laughs> it's fine, it wasn't my choice. And uh, when you're Irish and you quit drinking, it's a big deal. It's like quitting the mafia. <laughs> Your family doesn't know what to do with you anymore. You gotta go to witness protection. <laughs> My dad's Irish, he says he doesn't recognize me since I quit drinking. <laughs> I was like, that's because you're blacked out. <laughs> also half Italian, my mother's Italian, which means the number one concern growing up in our house was being late for dinner. That was issue number one. I could have been outside joining ISIS, <laughs> and it would have been fine as long as I was home in time for dinner. Because once 6.30 rolls around in my house, all you hear is my mother screaming at the top of her lungs, the food is getting cold! <laughs> Seriously, my mom's like the original Amber Alert. <laughs> I still can't figure out how to shut her off. It's amazing. So you can imagine what Thanksgiving's like in my house. Right? My mom's like, eat something! My dad's like, have a drink! I'm like, can you guys please shut up? I'm trying to cook this meth. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm Dick Cobb. Keep up the camera. <laughs>